In this video, we're using this model that models the population growth compounding continuously with a relative growth rate of 3.2% per year. N sub 0 is the initial population, and then this N is the population at any time t years after the initial population started. So let's say that our initial population is 39.4 million. That's n sub 0. And we're growing, growing at a relative growth rate of 3.2%. So it goes in the model just like this, at 0 0.032. We, we always put percents in as a decimal form. And then we, we need to know the T to plug in here. Well, let's say we're growing from, uh, we've got 39.4 uh, million people in 2004. And we want to know what about in 2015. Well, the time span from 2004 to 2015 is a time of 11 years. So that will be our t. t equals 11 years. That's right here. We're going to plug in 11 for, for t. And 39.4 in for n sub 0. So let's put all of that in there. And we get some population or some number equals 39.4 times e to the 0 0.032 times 11, because t is in 11 years. Okay, um, we have to multiply 0 0.032 times 11 first, there, and then take e to that power. And what we get is something I'll draw here, n equals 39.4 times e to the 0.352. Now, very important here. Do this in red first, e to the power exponents before multiplication. So e to the power of 0.352, and then multiply that by 39.4. And I'll just jump to the answer here then. The, the number or the population in 2005, or that is 11 years later, would be about 56.0, just rounding here, million, million people. So that's just an example of another exponential model using uh, continuous growth.